Indonesia lies on an archipelago of 17,000 islands in Southeast Asia, with a population of 250 million people. More than 50% of Indonesia's people live in cities and towns. Around 29 million people, or 22% of the population, are estimated to live in slums, with few basic services. It's common for households to dispose of toilet waste invisibly. This means either into a pit or a simple open bottom tanky septic from which the waste infiltrates into the ground or flows directly into an open storm water drain or into rivers, streams and canals. We still see houses which dump their wastewater to open channels, riverbeds, drains and the neighborhood and then we have others who have a septic tank but never have them dislodge regularly. The result is many polluted rivers, high E. coli levels in many domestic wells and an almost 50% rate of stunting in urban children under five. The Fecal Waste Flow Diagram, or SFD, was first used in Balikpapan in 2014 and then later in the capital, Jakarta. So the SFD is really helpful to show us where Jakarta has sanitation problems. That's the point. I appreciate the SFD highly. It illustrates the problem of fecal waste management from the household to the final treatment and shows the executive what they need to know about safely managed sanitation. The government and development partners are enthusiastic about the SFD. The first big SFD training was held in May and June of 2017 by the Ministry of Public Works and Housing. Ultimately, we hope the quality of domestic wastewater management will improve, that it will be more safely managed and thereby reduce environmental contamination. In a country as large as Indonesia, the government is planning to improve its urban sanitation with the SFD as an effective tool. The SFD can meet their needs for communication, advocacy and motivation to manage the whole sanitation chain.